what's going on? It's your boy FPS back with another FPS guide. This one's going to be window settings for the game Valorant. So we aren't going to directly be touching on every single setting in Valorant. Instead, we're going to be going over the window settings. If you're interested in the Valorant in-game settings, we have a video on that on the channel. I'll leave that in a card up above. So you can click on that if you want to watch that after this. But this is going to be the window settings. This is going to get you those extra FPS. Now, obviously, the in-game settings are the ones you really, really need to work on because because that will affect your FPS the most. However, these window settings definitely is going to improve the choppiness and generally give you a few FPS more, just give you that competitive advantage that you're looking for, especially in a game like Valorant where every little millisecond counts. So just to start off, get on your Windows page and we're gonna go step by step. This is gonna be at a moderate speed. So if I'm going a little too slow, feel free to turn up your playback speed. I'm just trying to make this slow for everyone. So we're gonna go over everything. We're gonna start with just the basic stuff that we cover in pretty much every single video and that is the graphic settings. so if you go over to the graphic settings just search it under your windows tab go graphic settings and look for accelerated gpu if you have that option turn it on if you don't have it you're likely on an amd and you could just keep it how it is now the second thing we're going to do is come down here hit browse and we're going to find our game as you guys can see we're on fortnite right now but we just need to go to games and you just got to find wherever the game is. So I'm just going through trying to find the game. You just have to find the correct one. So let's go ahead and find it. My Valorant is only on my desktop, so it's not going to show up here. But for example, yours will. You just want to double click on whatever one that is. You're going to hit options. So this should be Valorant right here. And then you hit high performance mode, hit save. And that will prioritize the game over any background apps that are sitting open. So this is just prioritization. And this is going to reduce stuttering and performance lags. All right, now that we have that, we're going to exit out of this tab because we don't need it anymore. We're actually going to look at our startup apps, which is going to help you for every single game but go over here at startup and make sure all of these are disabled so go over anything and just disable it if you don't want it to be running so i only have a few things that are running this is my microphone so i keep that up this is my mouse and keyboard so i keep that up but other than that everything is pretty much disabled so just keep it like that because you don't want everything just running right when you open your computer you don't need chrome you don't need all this stuff because it's going to continue to run the entire time so turn off and disable all of these this is something that'll help you in every single game whenever you're launching if your cpu or your ram usage is high it's likely has something to do with this this should help at least a little bit now let's do a few more things inside of windows so we're going to go back down to this bottom left and search and type in background and you'll find background apps somewhere right here. So hit that background apps, and then you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm seeing right here. And yours are probably going to be on, and all of these will be on as well. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and just shut all of these off. Now, if you want one of these specifically to be on for whatever reason, I would go ahead and just shut all the other ones off. So just go here, shut them all off, except whatever one you wanna keep on. But in my case, I want them all off. Keep your background apps to as little as possible that's what we've been doing with the past few settings so turn these off now search in game mode while we're still here so go game mode settings and you'll see that my game mode is on in valorant specifically game mode does give me about two to five fps on average from my testings and that's on an amd card game mode works a little bit better on nvidia is what i've noticed game mode sometimes actually does not help with amd and actually kind of can slow you down so potentially you might want to test this for yourself turn it off turn it on but generally on is going to give you at least a few more frames per second and it optimizes window for gaming. Now I also want you to hit this Xbox game bar, click on this and I would keep this off. I would keep all of anything relating to the Xbox networking, game bar, whatever, just turn it off. While we're still in the settings tab, go over to power, power and sleep settings should pop up. So go ahead and click on that and you guys will see your power and sleep settings. So your screen will turn off and whatever you set this at, but this does not matter entirely. Instead, we wanna go over to the right here and then we go additional power settings click additional power settings and i want you guys to hit high performance or ultimate performance I like to keep it at balanced or high for my AMD card because there's really not much of a difference between balance, high, ultimate. A lot of people say that balance is actually better for AMD. Now, I can't be one to back that up because I just don't know. I haven't done testing on that. So high performance or balance, I've noticed they're pretty much the same for AMD, at least. For NVIDIA, I would probably go as high as I can. Ultimate performance, high performance. This is just going to improve performance, but it will increase your power consumption. Now, go ahead and click home. 
and go over to update and security. So this is the last thing we're going to be doing in the settings. So the first thing, so the first tab that you're going to get greeted with is Windows Update. Make sure that you are up to date. If you're not up to date, it's kind of like whenever your iPhone's not up to date, it's going to start stuttering and lagging because Microsoft obviously wants you to update your computer. So I highly recommend doing this. Otherwise, you might have some weird stutters, weird lag, weird performance issues. So just update this as often as possible. Go down to delivery optimization and allow downloads from other PCs. So turn that off, okay? I just like to keep all of this random stuff that you never really use off because there's just no reason even having it there. So that is all for the settings. Now, if you're interested in in-game settings, we have a video for that. I'm gonna leave a, another end card right here. And there was a card also earlier. So check that out if you're looking for the in-game settings that I optimize personally and have tested personally. Otherwise, please do subscribe so you never miss a FPS guide for your favorite new game. We have them coming out once a week. So I will see you guys next week for the next FPS guide. Have a great week. Bye-bye.